Hey guys, this is Lee from Right Lane Reviews, and this is my unscripted first impressions on the 2021 BMW 5 Series facelift. Alrighty, so let's get going this morning. We are officially in BMW's executive saloon, the legendary. 5 series. Oh, before we get too far, if you haven't already, go ahead and hit the subscribe button below and the bell so you can get all the right lane reviews as well as all my first impressions on every car that we see here. And um, yeah, it really helped me out. So please. So first impressions of the cabin right off the bat. Well, it's an opulent 5 series in here. I mean, BMW does really good interiors and everything feels super well made. Typical BMW layout with the high shoulder line, some really nice ambient lighting in here, a uh, very clean layout. BMW's massive center screen has Apple CarPlay and Android Auto wirelessly, as well as all the normal BMW isms. Big M Sport steering wheel now that the M Sport package is standard on all the five series. Uh, BMW's LED display in front of you, which is still cluttered, but because the heads-up display is standard, it actually works out. So heads-up display is a godsend in any BMW. Um, but overall, it's gorgeous in here. It's typical, typical BMW. It's just a beautiful place to be. It's quiet. Um, the little two liter is punchy, but not extravagant. <laughs> the five series is only their second largest car to the big seven series. So this is a full size sedan and it feels it but it doesn't feel unwielding let's see how we go in this in this on ramp here because bmw feels best in some corners and it feels like a bmw <laughs> solid planted unrelenting i would say and it's got good brakes oh god why did you slam on brakes man so now we're on ramp, we'll see if this little two liter is actually worth its chops. Let's see what she got. Um, yeah, it's all right. I mean, this is the base 520i. So the 520 only gets the 137 kilowatt version of the BMW family four cylinder turbocharged unit. Um, the 530i gets the 200 and something kilowatt version, and then the 550, of course, the big twin turbo V8, so six liter variants, depending on where you are, and there's a diesel option, all that stuff. But this particular car today is just the um, 520, the 137 kilowatt, 290 newton meters of torque. It feels really nice over bumps. You can tell the car is taut, and it is um, has a sporting undertone, but it's not uncomfortable on the motorway. And with this comfort cruise stop and go system that we're using right now it it's actually quite easy to drive it it's keeping you center lane it is aware of all the cars around you it even tells you what kind of cars are around you so right now we're behind a truck for example and it can see that that's a truck so it's putting it on the lecd screen as well as a heads-up display that there's a vehicle in front and it's keeping me within lane and a safe distance and it's also monitoring the vehicles around so it's showing me what cars are around what kind they are where they are in position to me which is actually pretty cool so it can see quite a lot and this is um this is nice i actually quite like that <laughs> comfort wise in this 520i you get beautiful leather dakota leather seats which we're sitting in now and i quite like them a lot i am a seat whore and in these base kind of uh, normal bmw seats they're very very comfortable very supportive and they look the part i mean you expect bmw to look the part inside the car is actually quite quiet on the motorway now you do hear um, some tire noise but it's mostly from the 19 inch run flats on this particular car and but this is a it's a rather large car i mean it doesn't drive as big as it as it, as it is um, sitting here on the motorway it feels like i'm driving a three series or a smaller sedan i can tell it's a big car but it doesn't feel massive but then i look over my shoulder and it's um cussed out my passport to get to the back seat does okay <laughs> so this car feels pretty good in the hand bmw does passenger cars really really well i mean they're 
their tagline is the ultimate driving machine, right? So you expect them to be very good at what they do, and for the most part, the chassis sorting is great. But the steering weights up nicely. In sport mode, it's little, still a little light. There's not a ton of feel in the front end. Does it feel like a Bentley? <laughs> if that makes sense, it doesn't feel like a barge. So you're in a nice luxury sedan, a big luxury sedan, but it doesn't feel um, bulbous. Is bulbous the right word? To, the BMW does not feel bulbous. Well, how does it feel around town? Well, around town, it feels like a BMW. It's comfortable. The M Sport suspension does let a little bit more of the bumps and ebbs and flows into the cabin, which is okay. I mean, you don't buy a BMW for its waftiness. If you want that, you buy a Mercedes. Um, but it feels taut. It's not overly bouncy. It's a little stiff over some potholes, but it's not terrible. Um, again, it doesn't feel as big as it actually is. So in some ways that's great because you don't feel like the car is gonna get in your way. In other ways it's like, yeah, I feel like I'm squeezing it in a little bit, but overall it's fine. You do have to be aware of its haunches though because it is quite a large sedan. You have to remember that it's got butt. I mean, girl's got an ass. So you have to remember that that's there, <laughs> particularly if you're changing lanes because you can look over your shoulder and see out the side and it's got blind spot monitors and all of those beautiful safety features but you're like oh yeah beyond that c pillar is also a meter <laughs> of car <laughs> so what are my final thoughts on first impressions with the 2021 bmw 520i the lci the facelift model well it feels really good you have to have a really nice foundation to create more powerful sports sedans and the 520i is actually a very competent feeling foundation um we're gonna be in a bit of luxury here and the household for the week and i'm looking forward to it so well well done it, it's it's a yacht <laughs> and i'm gonna have to figure out how to captain it properly so let's see how we go if you guys enjoyed the video today don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel below you can find me on instagram and twitter at right lane lee and i'll see you guys soon a bit wanky driving this car around today because <laughs> it's such a it's such a car that kind of exudes a bit of um class or maturity and i'm just like give me a fire spitting hot hatch from the 1980s <laughs>